Being blinded by catastrophe does not mean that we are unable to see. In 2003, Joe Gibbs Racing was looking for rookie recruits for NASCAR drivers. They were excited, ecstatic. This is what they had done their entire lives. In the middle of all these rookies who were prepared to become the next best thing was a man who was only there to sell a car. He brought the car to Joe Gibbs Racing and they said, well, why don't you take it out on the track and show us how it handles? And so he did. And as he drove, his lap times far exceeded the rookies out on the field. The way he handled the car was so impressive that the team slowly rose to stare at him, not because of the car, but because of the driver. They didn't understand where he'd gotten his training. The year before, he had been sitting in the stands. They wanted him to be their next driver. He was the very first rookie in all of history to make it into the chase, the cup for NASCAR. He made it into the chase as a rookie, first one ever to do it. And every year since, he has blown away all these victory standings. But I don't remember him for all of that. I remember him for a moment where he taught me a lesson that I have never forgotten. In the middle of a race, he had his bright yellow stripe across the back of his car, which said, I'm a rookie. Make sure that you don't do anything that would cause me to crash. But he didn't need that stripe. In the middle of one of the races, someone far ahead of the pack lost control and crashed. And it caused such a domino effect that all of the crashes going on, the smoke filled the air, cars flying all over, drivers unable to stop, veterans were being destroyed. Other veterans were knew they were coming into the smoke and they had to choose what they were going to do. As each one of them has something in their ear and it's connected to their team, which are at the top of the stadium. They're spotters. And their spotters are able to see what is in front of them, what is around them, and they can caution them, warn them, direct them, lead them. But these veterans were choosing not to listen to their spotters. These veterans were seeing what was in front of them and not listening, go high, go toward the wall, or not listening, go low, go toward the center of the field. All they could see was there's a massive wreck in front of me and if I go high, I think I'm gonna hit it. But they didn't know there was a space available if they just listened. Tony Stewart drove into the smoke and his destroyed car came out the other side. Every single one of these leaders, one after another, crash. Crash, Crash, Harvick, Kenseth, Gordon, Kane, Martin, Bush, Edwards, Biffle. Crash, Crash, Crash. And then we all saw the rookie. And my heart constricted. If these veterans cannot make it through, how can the rookie make it through? And then we watched as this beautiful dance ensued. He drove straight into the smoke and dodged and swerved around wreck after wreck, around flying tire and smoke and fire. The rookie that none of us really paid any attention to before was the only one to make it through. After the race, reporters ran past the veterans, not even looking at them, and they gathered around Denny Hamlin. How did you make it through? And he said five words I will never forget. I listened to my spotters. And they said, yeah, right, okay, but how did you, a rookie, make it through? He said, I'm sorry, I don't think I understand what you're asking me. I didn't do anything on my own. I couldn't see anything but smoke and fire and metal. I did what they told me to do. They could see what I couldn't. I trusted them. Why wouldn't I listen to them? He listened to his spotters. The ones who are capable of seeing the entire situation farther than he could ever see. He listened to them and he made it through. Together, we can make it through. There is track on the other side of the chaos and calamity going on in our lives. There is track on the other side of the smoke and we have spotters in our lives. Let's listen to them. Let's be like Denny Hamlin, the rookie who changed the world.